Learning construction. Learn, share, expand. What's up guys? This is Ernie with learningconstruction.com and welcome to another video about construction. On this one, I would like to talk about how to lay masonry block. To be more specific, how to lay a structural masonry block. There are many different styles on how to lay and how to uh, place masonry. But on this one, we're going to look at the uh, typical structural style that is used for uh, retaining walls and such. Okay, so if you remember in our previous videos, when you lay the rebar and you pour the concrete, you wanted to make sure that your rebar was in the correct location uh, that is going to be located inside of the cell. Remember, there is a minimum and a maximum clearance that the rebar needs to be placed inside of the block. Uh, this is especially important when you're building retaining walls. Um, when you have free standing walls, the rebar most likely will be on the center. But on retaining walls, the rebar is going to be closer to the edge that will be retaining the soil. In this case, the rebar uh, is only half an inch from the uh, inside cell of the block. So you have to be really careful when you are laying out your rebar that you are going to be on the right spot. Okay, so the next thing obviously was when you pour the concrete, you want to make sure that you make this thing level. Because if you don't make it level, it's going to be a real pain for you to lay your block. As you can see in this video over here, we ensure that our block was fairly level and you start by placing your first course of blocks with just a little bit of a mortar set um, but make sure to put enough that you can lay your block and then you can verify that you are level it's a very good idea that you put the first and the last block of the wall first this will allow you to determine the uh, elevation throughout the whole wall and then you can run a string line between both the first and the last block and once again you you verify that the, both blocks and the whole wall is going to be level and then you start placing all your other blocks once you have the other blocks of the first course installed you want to start with the second course which of course as you can see in this video they are not placed following the same pattern they're actually placed offset on the center. In other words, all your blocks are going to be on a staggered pattern. So the next one up will be on the center, or the middle part will be on the edges of the ones below, and so on, and you'll see how it goes in this video. Also, as you can see, when you make your mixture of mortar, you want to place mortar set on top of the block or on top of the footing before you set the other ones. And then you place a little bit of mortar on each side and that's what you're going to use to put them together. Once the block is in place, you can adjust it and make sure that you have it square and it's in line. It's very important that you have this string line as you can see here um, because it's going to make it a lot easier for you to know that you're building your wall straight. And remember is absolutely important that your corners are perfectly square and they're perfectly plumb otherwise you're gonna be making a wall that is of plumb <laughs> and I laugh because unfortunately I've seen them too so you you want to make sure that your corners are perfectly plumb and as square as possible uh, and then you're gonna have a really neat wall and really that's it guys I uh, hope you guys like this video and uh, Please look at my website and send me any comments or questions. Uh, once again, check out learningconstruction.com. Thank you.